Hi, my name is Mark Bradford, and I'm a Los Angeles-based artist here at the Long Museum. The title of the show is called Los Angeles, and it is my explorations with mapping, cartography, film, popular culture, and my idea of the galaxy. Hi, my name is Diana Nowy. I'm an independent curator based in Los Angeles, and I'm the exhibition curator for Mark Bradford Los Angeles. The piece behind us is titled, He Would Watch the Country Burn If He Could Be the King of the Ashes. That's a popular culture reference from Game of Thrones, but really the piece is really about um, the way in which we live in the planet and how the planet actually needs to be better taken care of. And also this kind of increasing, shall I say, isolation that's kind of developing in some parts of the world. I feel that we should be coming more together and working together as is one planet. So the, the piece actually is many different planets and different solar systems, but it's actually the same Earth. So if you look at the, if you look at the globes, instead of the water being pure blue and the, and the constellations being more green, I really wanted to really talk about the kind of pollution that we're developing in the world and that we're not being sensitive. So Mother Earth will be okay, but the water's running black and the, the Earth being scorched is this kind of apocalyptic um, idea that if we don't pay more attention, um, this is what it will look like. So the signature piece, I suppose, of this exhibition was a work titled Mithra that I did in 2008 for Prospect One, which was a biennial in New Orleans. It was the first biennial in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. It was six months after Hurricane Katrina when um, the flood really laid bare in that city the economic disparities, both racially and economically, and it really pointed to that. Prospect was conceived in 2008 after the devastating effects of Hurricane Katrina. Mark's contribution was among the most important works, not only in that biennial, but arguably in the last 10 years of public art making. He created an enormous boat or ark that sat in an abandoned lot in the city's lower ninth ward. This giant boat was made from abandoned street paintings and boards taken from construction sites. It hasn't been on view since it was first installed in the public sphere in 2008. This is the first time he and his studio have worked together to recreate it, and the first time it's on view in its entirety. It's very much a symbolic work that is both a kind of rescue boat and also a kind of memorial for all of the lives lost during that tragedy. It's powerful both in its emotional resonance but also in its physical scale which completely dominates the space of this incredible museum. I guess float is a, let's call it a painting, a deconstructed painting. Um, what does it mean to make a painting? I make a painting and my, my, I'm always thinking about how to deconstruct things, how to move them apart. But this was really a, a painting that was made meters and meters and meters and meters long in my studio and I deconstructed it and then used a, um, a bracing to kind of create the waterfall out of it. Mark is one of the most important painters working today across the world, and he's very well known for painting. But what is really unique and quite notable about Mark's practice, even radical, is the fact that most of his paintings aren't made with paint. They're made through collage. So they, he takes different materials, images, objects that he finds or that he prints or that he seeks out and collages them onto the surface of other paper or canvases, and then builds up surfaces and tears them apart using paint, 
cock, different other kinds of things that add this incredible texture. So even though they have the composition of painting and they're very much in the dialogue of a history of painting, they can be seen quite differently. And it's important, I think, to think not only of painting as something that goes on the wall, but as part of his three-dimensional practice as well.